Hello happy friends, are you ready to learn? I'm Sarah and today we're going to talk about something very important. Today we're going to learn about the jobs and how they are classified. Have you ever wondered how we can obtain food, clothes and everything else that we need to be able to live? Well, the answer is easy peasy. We get these things by working. That's why it's so important to study because this way we can choose our future correctly and then we can end up doing what we love. A job is simply something that a person does in exchange for money or another benefit. But because not all jobs are the same, we classify them into three large groups. The primary sector, the secondary sector, and lastly, the tertiary sector. <coughs> to start off with, the primary sector includes all jobs that obtain raw materials directly from nature, like this farmer or the stockman. But before I continue, do you know what raw materials are? Well, it's easy peasy. Raw materials are resources that humans obtain from nature and they can be directly consumed or they can be made and transformed into consumer goods. The fruit and fish we eat, the wool we get from sheep, to manufacture warm clothes like this sweatshirt or steel with which we can produce tools or aeroplanes. So all of these things are called raw materials. Agriculture, fishing, livestock, logging and mining are all jobs in the primary sector. Then we have the secondary sector. This is the sector that transforms the raw materials into elaborated final products like cheese that comes from milk or this car that has lots of raw materials within it and one of them being steel. So industry, crafts and construction all form part of the secondary sector. The tertiary sector doesn't have products, instead it offers services, education, Healthcare, trade and transport are all part of the tertiary sector. For example, doctors heal us. Teachers teach us. And hairdressers cut our hair and leave us this beautiful. As you can see, these professions, these jobs, aren't offering material goods. But they help and protect us. They are offering super important services. Well, now we know what jobs are and how they are classified into sectors. Primary sector, the secondary sector, and finally, the tertiary sector. Now, all I need to say is that you study and work really, really hard because this will mean that you can have whatever job you want and this way you'll be really happy. So goodbye friends, see you next time and I hope you're always ready to learn. Goodbye!